Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Veteran Strides. I'm your host, Dwayne Moore. So for today's episode, we're going to be speaking with our guest, Anthony Renew. We're going to be talking about his car, which you see right behind me. It is a 2016 Tesla Model S P90D. And of course, at the end of the episode, we're going to be taking it out for a spin. So a little bit about our guest. He's currently on active duty, and he has been in the Navy for 16 years. He's currently an E7, which means he's a chief, and he has done four overseas deployments. He is a logistics specialist with the Navy, and what that means is that uh, they make sure that the parts get to the aircraft so the aircraft can make its mission, and the food gets to the crew so the, so the cooks can feed the crew. Um, also on the side, he is a real estate agent, and he manages a team of active duty and veteran real estate agents. It's called the Renew Home Team. If you ever need any real estate services, you can go ahead and contact them you will find the contact information in the vid in this video's description. So that's <laughs> this guy's doing it all right. So let's go ahead and uh, welcome him to the show. Anthony, please come on down. Hey, what's going on, Dwayne? Hey, man, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being in the show. For sure. My pleasure. My pleasure. So I got to ask, what was your inspiration for getting this car? My inspiration for getting a vehicle uh, mainly was I got in an accident three years ago. My car was totaled. I had a Kia K900, big luxury car. It was a V8 was fast and I uh, wanted to replace it with another big fast car and California was going towards you know lower emission vehicles with uh, and electric vehicles so I said what better time to jump in than now so I went ahead and I had some interest in the Model S and I got one. Nice 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 and, and I gotta say uh, the future is electric you, you know that's the one thing is as as society we're a lot more self-conscious about the environmental destruction that we put so a car like this that has zero emissions it's a win-win for all. Um, I normally ask a lot more questions to our guests on the show about their vehicles, but there's so much to cover on this Tesla Model S. So I think it's best that we just go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and take a further look at this vehicle. All right, folks, as Dwayne mentioned, my car is a 2016 Model S P90D. Uh, the color is silver. Uh, you won't see many of these on the road. They actually no longer make this color, uh, which this is one of my favorites. Another favorite that's no longer available is the front nose cone. So this is an early 16. In late 16, Tesla switched to a body colored uh, front. So this black nose cone is no longer available. So as you can see here, I have a, it's a pretty big uh, wheel well. I have 19 inch rims. Uh, there's an option to get 21s. I chose not to due to my daily driving. I'd rather have a little bit more rubber, uh, but definitely a pretty big brake package. Obviously this is a Tesla, so there's no engine. In the front, we have a frunk, a front trunk. As you can see, as I approach the vehicle, the door handles come out. All right, welcome inside my Tesla. The things that I love the most, uh, the features that I chose as an upgrade is the panoramic sunroof uh, and moonroof, which actually slides halfway back. Uh, also the lighter interior. Um, the things, that, the, the top two for me is the autopilot, which I'll show you later, and also the large, huge, enormous entertainment screen. So in arcade mode, you can play all kinds of games from Missile Command, Centipede, Asteroids, Chess, Backgammon, all those old Atari games that maybe uh, you remember from your childhood. You can simply press play and go right into it. So a great thing to do while you're parked. Uh, another cool thing, nice little feature about this vehicle is the toy box. Uh, if you're on a nice date, maybe a tender date, and you want to set the mood, get a nice ambiance going, you can get right into cozy mode. And the car will instantly play a nice uh, romantic song, have the fire going, and the heat is actually on. You don't feel it right now, but I do. Uh, and it's pretty hot here right now, so um, the heat is going. And then you just get that music going. Wham. All right, another cool thing. So a lot of folks uh, don't know is when, my, when I bought my vehicle, it didn't have emissions mode, which is pretty much the fart mode. So uh, now when it's in this feature, you can pretty much have the car fart on demand. Maybe you want to trick your passenger or mess with your mother. Uh, it always throws people's off, people off. And you choose your favorite fart sound. There's some long ones, some really long ones, and uh, some strong ones, some short ones. And
and ones that go on forever. So it can fart on turn signal or fart on demand. If you want to get in the holiday spirit, the cool thing about this car is it has a Santa mode. Ho, ho, ho. Your car turns into a sleigh on the GPS and on the dash. And as you operate the signals, that's the left signal, the right signal, you hear the jingle bells. If you're a pet owner and uh, you're going in the grocery store, don't want anyone breaking your glass windows just to get in to save your pet, because you have the AC on, you can throw on dog mode. It'll no notify everyone. Hey, say you went into Target and you came back out and somebody, some a-hole parked close to your car. Well, the great feature about this vehicle is it has summon mode. From the phone controls, you can just have it pull out. will turn to avoid an obstacle. As you can see, there's no tailpipe. And as I mentioned earlier, this is an all electric vehicle and I'm on the road a lot. So let me show you where I charge at. Here we are at one of the newest Tesla supercharging stations out here in Chula Vista, California. So with a regular car, you would get gas at a gas station. With this vehicle, you simply pull up to a charger. Like I said, I got a 16, so I got free supercharging. I'll simply take this little handy dandy pump here, open up my receptacle door, and simply plug it right on in. And that's it. Unlike with a gas vehicle, with an electric vehicle, you would sit in there while you get gas or charge. As you can see on the screen here, the supercharging, uh, right now I'm at 113 miles. And to get to full or 80% where I want to be, it'll take 25 minutes. On average, I spend about 40 to 45 minutes at a pump when my car is on E or zero miles left. And if I wanted to go on a long trip, I would simply just adjust it and it'll tell me how long it takes. We're going to let the car charge for a few minutes right here um, with a Tesla superchargers. You can see there are other Teslas uh, charging their batteries. So right now it's my favorite time of the show, which is time for me to get behind the wheel. So let's go ahead and get going. So here we are in a 2016 Tesla Model S P90D. This particular model has two electric motors. The thing about electric motors is once you start on them, once you step on the gas, it's instant torque. And you know what? We're gonna feel that right now. Woo! Dude, it's like a spaceship taking off. <laughs> it doesn't even, oh my God, man. It's, it's nothing, bro. It's like, you know, C2 Alpha. You know, just taking <laughs> off and it, landing. Yeah. and It, it yeah. feels like an airplane. You don't hear the engine go. Nothing. So you don't have that that visceral feeling, but you feel it physically. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, and I, I said the same thing. I was like, oh, Chris, okay. A lot of car guys know this. A lot of Tesla owners know this. But this is a very fast car. I uh, just got to ask, do you get a lot of people trying to race you? Oh, man, all the time. Everywhere I go, folks will see me out of light. They'll be revving. Uh, you know, just the other day, someone was at a light revving their little car, and I know I'm the fastest car on the road as far as takeoff is concerned. So, uh, you know, the gas combustion engines just can't compete. So, uh, I have a lot of fun with those guys, and I just take off and, you know, dust them real quick. So. <laughs> nice, nice. So, Testas are really known for their autopilot features, and you know what? We're gonna check that out right now. Let's do it. Okay, uh, what do I do? Okay. Double click the bottom handle. Okay, double click it. And it took over. Took now over. it's an autopilot. Take your hands Whoa. off the wheel. <laughs> you see we're going around this turn. Yeah, we got a big turn. You got Whoa. cars coming by yeah. you. The cars watching the cars and it's going Oh, dude, it just, it, it doesn't feel right. No, but, it, but it feels good. It feels, <laughs> hey. It's going, All right, it's so. going, no, it's going across the intersection. It's got it. 
All right. If a car cuts us off, it'll slow down. Uh -huh. uh, it's watching the cars behind us and side of us. You can see the little car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The driving wheel's turning. As the wheel turns, the, actually the little wheel on the screen turns. That's an interesting little, little uh, wheel fact. Turn. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, dude, all right. Hey, I'm gonna age myself here real quick. But about 15 years ago, when you had a flip phone, like that was the item to have. Like you were like the coolest person, yeah. you know, at your work or something with a flip phone, right? A few years afterwards, the iPhone came out, and you know, there, it was not a flip phone, but it was an absolute game changer. And now all the phones look like iPhones. And I gotta say, when I think about ICE cars, internal combustion engines, to me, that's like the old guard. This right here. It has so much stuff in it and you know earlier today we barely scratched the surface of yeah. all the stuff yeah of all the stuff that this car has so i don't know why ice cars don't have that kind of technology in them i know they can have it but you know the tesla does and to me this is the just the future of automobiles um hey anthony i gotta say thank you so much for being in the show thank you for letting me drive your car I, I mean, this is a game changer. I, I know so much more about Teslas for now. For sure, for sure. And you know what? Uh, if you guys like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you guys next time.